Another really cool feature of the bindings in SkullFX is the ability to create conditional bindings. So that means that you can create bindings that will pick one value or another based upon conditionals. It's kind of like an if, but for bindings. So let's work on a file here. I copied our template over. I have a label. I'm going to go ahead and make a slider as well. We are going to be playing with colors in here. So let's go ahead and import color so that we can work with the colors. And I'm not going to do too much in this. I want to have my, so what can our example be here? Conditional bindings. I want to have it so that the label is in the scene. And when we hover over the label, I want to change the background color of the scene. So label equals new label, hover to change background. As we just saw, I'm actually going to take the label and uh, I am going to make it so that it stays centered. This time I'll you know, make it probably stay centered both horizontally and vertically, might as well. Uh, actually, no, I'm going to make it so its position is attached to the slider, but in a unique way. So let's go ahead and let's create the slider. Val slider equals new slider. And it really doesn't matter. We'll go from 0 to 10 and stay at zero and start at 0. <clears throat> and content equals list of label and slider. This is going to be a very simple GUI at this point. We could run it just to see what it starts off looking like. And it should just be a window with a slider and a label that's underneath it. Okay. First I want to keep that label centered. So label.layoutx is equal to scene dot width minus label dot width. Oh, I was going to do that one differently. Let's do this for y. I want to center it in y. So scene dot height minus label dot height divided by two. For the horizontal location of it, this is where I'm going to use my first conditional binding. I want it to either be all the way on the left or all the way on the right based on whether the slider is greater than or less than five. And so five is the middle value. So I want to say slider dot, or we start off for a conditional, sorry, when, instead of saying if. Now, part of the reason why we don't use the if here is because if is actually a Scala keyword. So the library can't change the way that if behaves. But it can introduce a new keyword, and Scala has actually a very flexible syntax so that you can have a library that allows you to say things like when the slider's value is less than 5, I want to choose 0. Otherwise, I want to use scene dot width minus label dot width. Okay. When choose and otherwise. They aren't keywords. Uh, they're actually defined inside of the library. If we pull up the API, turns out that import for includes has a whole bunch of stuff that we don't really care about, but one of the more interesting ones is when, which takes an observable Boolean value and gives you a condition builder. And so we can do cool things with by playing with that. So when this Boolean, there's a method called choose, and it'll give us zero. Otherwise, it'll give us that. We can test that out. 
we run this, whoops, where, oh, I put equal signs instead of binding symbols. That's significant. Because I am trying to do bindings, not just set an equality. If I were setting an equality, I would have to get those things to work differently. So note that, yes, it is, the label is bound so that it stays centered vertically. There's no change as long as I'm over here, but as soon as I cross the midpoint, it jumps to the other side. Okay, And as it says hover to change background, what I would like to do is I would like to have another conditional binding, but this one is going to be bound to the fill of the scene. So I want it so that when the label is being hovered over, there is a Boolean property inside of label and the other controls that you can tell when the mouse is hovering over them. I want to choose it to be, let's say, color dot green. Otherwise, color dot white, which is what we are getting by default to start with. So let's try that. And now if I hover over this, it turns green, otherwise it turns back to white. And so these bindings have quite a bit of them. You can do the math operations, things like this, but you can also do conditional logic in your bindings to set values based upon whatever it is, whatever options you wish to have in here. Uh, and we could technically make this more complex. It's probably one of those things where you don't want to push this too far. It'll probably make your code harder to read. Uh, but it, it does give you the ability to quite easily make interesting things happen without putting in too much code and in a way that is easy for you and for others to understand.